hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is debbie i'm a fashion designer and please if you're here to subscribe to this channel ensure you subscribe and also click on the bell icon for more updates each time i upload a new video okay so today i'll be showing you how to cut and sew a raglan sleeve flare dress i already have some tutorials that you need to watch before you can actually understand what you know is um, being thought in this video that i'm about to show you okay and i'll be dropping those links in the description box okay please just to remind you again ensure you subscribe to this channel let's get started Okay guys, these are my pattern pieces. This is the sleeve pattern, front and back. And these are my um, bodice patterns as well. So these are the patterns I'll be using for this lovely uh, turtleneck dress. So this <clears throat> is one of the um, bodice pieces. And I'm going to be removing 1.5 inches from the side seam up, okay? Because I actually did the same thing on the sleeve pattern. So I am trimming it off as shown. And this pointed edge here, I'm going to be using my pen to blend up and, you know, trim off as usual, okay? I don't want any edgy parts, you know, on my pattern pieces. So just do the same on yours as well. So now this is what I have and I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other piece. Okay. So now I have just done that. Please, I'm so sorry. I did it off camera. Okay. So these are the pieces that I have, you know and that i'm going to be working with okay so i will be setting this aside and bringing my fabric my lovely velvet fabric very stretchy one part is stretchy the other is not okay so this is going to be for the bodice and um, this other sleeve right here is going to be for the sleeve okay this is just like chiffon but it's even lighter it's even lighter than chiffon so i'll be using this for my sleeve and now i have folded my pattern and i will be adding 0 0.5 inch sewing allowance all round okay all round and um, now i have cut it out and i am going to be you know including making sure that my notches are intact because by the time i'm sewing on the machine i want to join the you know elbow to elbow together do you understand so this is a notch here on the armhole part okay and this is a notch another notch so ensure you use your scissors and notch every important Parts, okay so that you won't go and so you know join elbow to wrist do you understand my point now so this is what I have even for my um, bodice pattern I have cut it out already so I have my back piece here and I will also be you know indicating my nostril part as well okay so this is the back and this one is the front piece so this is all i have to work with right now okay so now i'm going to be showing you you know the important parts that should be sewn my darts they are very important and please if you do not want to add that to your stretchy fabric of course it's not compulsory it is stretchy so most times it doesn't need that but i just want that on this fabric so that at least i will show you the importance of having that on your bodies okay 
so this is what i have and my front piece as well my bust that has been indicated as usual okay my bust that this is where it is you know and this is my waist that my waist that my bust that so this is what i have now now this is my 360 degree flip i have a video on this on in the description box okay this is a 360 degree flip that i uploaded you know last on my channel so this part is going to be sewn to the waist line of the bodies okay this is the hem so this is what i have this is going to be the down parts of the dress okay so now i'm going to be setting this aside and i'm going to be you know letting you know that this is the dart section and the next thing for me to do is to sew all my darts after you have you know you are done cutting your pattern pieces please ensure that the very first thing you do is to you know sew in all your darts now my darts have been sewn can you see this is the wrong side and can you see the boss that the bust that the waist that okay very important and i also have the same thing on the back piece okay this is my dart as well this is the wrong side can you see my dart have been sewn already so i have the same you know sewn dart on the other piece so now this is what i have the next thing for me to do is to attach the sleeves so i'm going to bring in my sleeves now and show you how it's going to be attached okay so this is the front piece front to front back to back so this is where I'm going to sew. This is where that will be attached to the bodies. So now I'm going to be removing the pins as shown. So I'll set this pattern paper aside. Now I will place the um, sleeves the way it is supposed to be attached okay so now this is the front part and ensure you sew right side to right side all right so this is the right side by the time i want to sew i will turn it right side to right side so that i can sew on the wrong side so this side will be sewn and joined to the bodies just this way and the other piece would be you know also attached as shown can you see this is how it will look can you see i'll sew here and i will sew this part as well so and i would be doing the same thing you know on my back piece i would join the back sleeve to uh, the bodies just the way you are seeing right here so once I'm done joining I will show you how it looks good I am done joining and this is what I have so this is my back piece can you see I have you know succeeded in joining neatly to the bodies okay the sleeve to the bodies and the same thing on the other piece for the back so um of course this mid back an invisible zip is going to be attached to it okay so and in most dresses you see that your zip is always at the back except you know 
the design is you know probably different or whatever so but most times you have the zip at the back but you can have it anywhere anyway but for this tutorial i'm going to be you know putting the zip at the back so this is my front piece and i have joined it as well can you see so this is the neck this is the sleeve can you see neatly joined can you see how it looks so i'm going to be attaching you know joining the back to the bodies this way okay just do it this way so as you attach you sew down okay then you bring the side together and sew and sew the sleeve as well just this way and i will be doing the same thing on the other part so once i'm done i will show you this is the look that i have i had already sewn can you see and i have already even searched it with my machine with my serger so you can do that if you have an overlocking you know machine just surge it or you leave it okay it's the fabric is not is not um it's not wool that it will start freely so but if you have it of course you can use now i'm going to be measuring the neck from the zip the center back down to the center don't measure the zip allowance okay so but of course i did that on my pattern piece because the fabric is really stretchy now i have my collar if you actually want me to show you how to make this kind of collar kindly indicate in the comment section below so okay. i have my collar and i cut two you know pieces this is my pattern and i used it so now uh, i have already interfaced it so just use your interfacing maybe hair stay or a soft stay and interface just one part okay and this now i have searched it with my serger can you see very neat all the same lines the parts that i joined i ensure that i searched it and they are very it's looking very very neat okay so this is what i have and right now this is my waistline so i'm going to be attaching my flare to the waistline so the first thing i did was to notch the mid point okay so notch the mid point mid point to mid point then you sew all through from one side to the other side now i have done it can you see can you see the line so i have already joined the front the upper part and the down part together so now the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to um stabilize my center back why because this fabric is very stretchy so you need to add your um hair stay to it or you interface it okay with a soft stay okay so this is i've already cut like one inch and i'm going to be ironing it just press it down okay and this is where the, the zip is going to stay because the fabric is stretchy so you need to stabilize the fabric so this is where the sleeve is going to lay okay now you press it with your iron and you have it so now this is what i have I had already joined the collar to the neck okay you join from one part to the other part my zip is one inch my zip allowance but the allowance on the collar is just half inch so that's why the zip is a bit you know out the allowance is a bit out now I am going to be adding my zip joining my zip to it okay so you place your zip this way on the sewing allowance okay and you sew it down all right so this is what i have can you see how neat it is this is my zip so with the help of the stay of course 
the zip will lay flat and neat on your fabric so this is my sleeve uh, my zip and it is invisible i love using invisible for you know on all of my stretchy fabrics so can you see how neat it is so now the next thing for me is to join the down part i will just sew it down 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 to the hem line down this way okay now i am done sewing and this is what i have can you see how it is it's looking so lovely the back is looking so beautiful and neatly you know sewn as well can you see from the hemline up the zip part up to the neck can you see so it is very neat and now i'm going to zip down and the next thing is for me to turn the collar okay so this is the first part of course i have two pieces for the collar so now i'm going to be placing right side facing right side okay so i'll be turning it with this second piece so just place it this way on the zip okay but don't sew just sew on the zip but not you know too close to the teeth okay of the zip then just sew this way and fold it like this as shown and place your machine and sew just like this up then like this okay so once i'm done i will be showing you how it is so you'll be doing the same thing just so all round to the other end okay so place it this way sew on the zip fold it like this and sew up you know round the neck so once i'm done i will this is how i'm going to turn it okay so now i am done sewing this is how it looks and look at it i have already joined it can you see how it looks now the next thing for me is to turn it okay and sorry i also top stitched it so once you sew then you top stitch before you you know finish this part okay so now i am going to be turning it then just put your finger inside hold it and turn over and ensure you use your fingers to bring out the zip okay so this is how it looks so look at it and you will turn it and ensure you sew neatly okay so this is how to just do it the way you are saying for beginners you may not really be able to understand except you watch the previous videos on my channel so just sew and ensure the sewing is neat on the right side so let it be at least a bit invisible can you see how beautiful it looks i am done sewing and this is the look very lovely can you see how it is so this is the wrong side this is the wrong side neatly joined sewn so this is what i have and this is the hem i have done i searched it first and turned it you know 0 0.25 in and sewn it okay so can you see what i did here so now the next thing for me is to hem the sleeve okay the down part of the sleeve so i'm just going to use my bias to turn it but i'm going to be trimming off can you see i'll just trim off about one inch off then use your you can use your bias to turn in so that at least this part will be neat so thank you for watching this is this is the final look of the dress can you see how beautiful it is so please ensure you try it and let me have feedback thank you so much for watching ensure you subscribe to my channel bye